Okay, so I never thought I'd have to make a video explaining AirDrop and the new feature Name Drop built into iOS 17, but there's been various reports that suggest that the new feature built into iOS 17 makes it easy for someone to steal your personal information, and that's really not the case. I wanted to share with you guys how Name Drop works and how you really don't have to be concerned. We've seen police reports, news reports, so let's go ahead and explain how AirDrop and name drop in iOS 17 works in today's video. Okay, so in order to explain this properly, I wanna go ahead and explain how AirDrop works, and then I'll talk about a name drop, which is an extension or an addition to AirDrop in iOS 17. So AirDrop, basically you select an image, or a video or anything like that and you can send it over to another device so as long as the other device has enabled airdrop for everyone or if you have that person in your contacts they can also select contacts only and you'll be able to see them on the airdrop menu so this iphone here i do have the contact information for this device on this device here on the left. So if this device is set to contact only, of course, since the information is stored on this device, when I go into the AirDrop menu here, when I click on share, you see that this phone shows up on this device for me to AirDrop that image. However, if this person sets their phone to not receive, and of course, that means the contact will disappear. So you won't be able to airdrop to this person. So you have three options. Obviously you have not received right there. So you can turn off receiving off contacts only or everyone for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, it goes back to contact only. So that's basically how airdrop works. The ability to share files to another device using airdrop on iPhone to iPhone, which is a super cool feature. We've had it for quite some time. Now with iOS 17, Apple added a new feature called name drop. Now I wanna go ahead and explain name drop because name drop is tied to your contact poster basically so if you go into your phone application and you go into your contact poster right here you have basic information right so you have your phone number everything you add here your email address you also have anything that you add like your address and things like that you can edit your contact poster and once you're done of course that will be your poster your card that you'll be able to share via name drop now name drop is used in one way in iOS 17 where you can tap two phones together and share this information between iOS devices but let me show you how this actually works because many reports suggest that your phone could be locked and someone can come over and just beam your information over to their phone and that's just simply not the case let me show you how this works okay so name drop is a feature that works and then the feature that's in question is the ability to bring two devices together to share information and according to the reports you can bring someone else's phone up to your phone and steal your information basically without you even knowing. So let's say you left your iPhone in a desk or in your pocket and someone comes behind you and tries to beam the information over. According to the reports, you should be able to do this. And that's simply just not the case. So let me explain how name drop works. So first off, if you go into settings, go to general and then go into name drop, you have an option called bring device together. If you turn this off, this feature will simply not work. Now it is owned by default on every single iPhone. And if you don't want this feature, obviously you can turn it off. So let's show you how name drop works so for starters if your phone is locked in your pocket or in your purse or on a desk and someone is trying to steal your information and try to bring two devices together to do so it does not do the airdrop feature it does not initiate any airdrop animation or information is being shared at all because one of the phones is locked in order for this to work both devices have to be unlocked so according to various reports you can steal someone's information even if their phone was locked. And that's simply just not the case because name drop does not work when an iPhone is locked. Both devices need to be unlocked in order for this to work. Okay, so now let's go ahead and say that you forgot to lock your phone. It happens sometimes. You put it in your pocket, your back pocket, your bag, your purse, whatever. Can someone still get your information if you forget to lock your phone? Now, the answer to that is also no because as you see here, let's go ahead and try this here with both devices being unlocked. Once I initiate the airdrop, you see that I see see my information before I share it and the person will see their information before they share so right here I can go ahead and select whether I want to receive the information only which means I can only receive information from that phone and that phone will not get my information or I can share the information displayed here with the device now I can also click here and select additional information like my email my birthday other contact information maybe my address if I wish to do so but the information is not transferred to the other device until you approve it even if your phone is unlocked so if I click share of course on both devices then this information will be swapped i'll get tim cook's information and tim cook will get my information as you can see right there 
So even if your phone is unlocked in a purse or a bag or your pocket, they still can get your information. You get some feedback. You also get the prompt in order to approve the information from being transferred. And there you guys have it. This has been basically a misunderstanding and hopefully this will help you understand how this works and why you shouldn't be afraid of this feature. If you don't want it, you can actually go into settings here, general, go into airdrop and then turn off, bring devices together. And whether your phone is locked or not, the information will never be shared either way. So you can also have the option there to disable it if you wish to do so. Hopefully again, this clarifies this whole misinformation of information out there. If you have someone that is doubting the feature, you can share this video if you like. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.